My name is Grant Maltman and I'm the curator at Banding House National Historic Site of Canada in London, Ontario. Banding House since 1923 has been known as the birthplace of insulin. It was designated a National Historic Site of Canada in 1997. It was here that the defining moment in the discovery of insulin occurred. At 2 o'clock in the morning, he woke from a restless sleep and came up with this idea which led to the discovery of insulin, lifting the death sentence for millions with diabetes around the world. Dr. Frederick Banting lived here in 1920 and 1921, was a struggling doctor trying to make ends meet. He took a job at Western University, was asked to give a lecture on the subject of the pancreas, knew nothing about it, read a few articles, and in this very house at 2 o'clock in the morning, after a night of restless sleep, his idea came to him, which led to the discovery of insulin. What this museum offers is another insight into his life and career. He was a war hero in the First World War, winning the Military Cross, uh, was killed during the Second World War, painted with A.Y. Jackson of the Group of Seven. We have the largest collection of his works. And a wonderful display featuring all our royal visitors, which include the Queen Mother and two Governors General. He's our first Nobel Prize winner, and we're quite fortunate to have his official replica here on site. We get to tell the breadth of his story, not just the discovery of insulin. Banning House National Historic Site of Canada is a pilgrimage site for millions around the world. Uh, on our annual basis, we'll have 56 to 60 countries represented in our guest book. For people, they're coming here to see where this life-saving event occurred, an event that changed their lives, and as Banning said, changed his life as well. We know Banting for the singular event, and what we can share with everyone is that he wasn't a singular man, that he was a war hero, he was a scientist, he was an artist. He really was a Canadian for all times. After the discovery of insulin, Banting was showered with numerous awards, and one of the really interesting pieces we have is Time Magazine from 1923. It's the last issue of year one, he's the first Canadian on the cover of Time, and what we like about it, it says Frederick Banting of London, Ontario should be given the Nobel Prize, which he won 12 weeks later. It is a very moving experience here at Banting House National Historic Site of Canada. You get to stand in the bedroom where Banting came up with his ideas and you get to share your own thoughts. We have a small display where people write letters to Banting. These letters could have been written in the 1920s. They're people suffering from diabetes, living effective lives with diabetes, saying thank you to Dr. Banting for his discovery and what's meant to them and their family. I had someone who was up for the Nobel Prize, giddy, sitting on Banting's bed. I even had a researcher laying down once, very apologetically afterwards saying, You'll never know what this means to me. I've been doing diabetes research for 30 years. Maybe now I've been here, maybe now I can finish Banting's work. The Flame of Hope uh, burns outside of Banting House. It was lit by the Queen Mother in 1989 and stays lit until a cure for diabetes is found. When that cure is found, the research team will be brought to London to extinguish the flame and also open a time capsule that the International Diabetes Federation has left here on the property.